Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today we're sewing a gift for older family members, or possibly for charity. I'm going to show you how to make this walker bag. It has pockets so that people can carry their things even when their hands are occupied by the walker. They're both on the front side and on the back side. So, check out the link below to find your supply list and your dimensions, and I'll meet you back at the camera to show you how I cut this out and sewed it. Let's take a look at the supplies. You need lining fabric and you need outer fabric, and you need to cut your pieces to 18 inches wide by 36 inches long. So do that with the lining fabric as well as your outer fabric. You're also going to need ties. So get one and a half yards. These ties are gonna be approximately 12 inches each. And you can make them a couple of ways. First option is to take double fold bias tape and you just want to leave it folded and sew the two folded edges together so that you have a tie. Second option, if you don't have bias tape, is to cut pieces that are approximately one and three quarter inches wide, and then you want to fold them in half and stitch with quarter inch seams, and then you can turn them right side out. And by the way, I do have a link to this tube turner that I'm using to turn my tube below. So you can make your ties that way as well. And in addition to your ties and your outer fabric and your lining fabric, you need some sew-in Velcro. I've got this linked below as well. And you're gonna need approximately a yard of this. All right, the first step that you're going to want to do is take your outer fabric, which I'm using home decor cap, um, canvas here, and you want to fold up the amount that you're going to be using for the pockets. So on my original caddy here, I fold it up five inches on one side. So we're just gonna check and make sure that that is five inches. There we go, and I'm going to press this. And I'm just pressing the crease in there that will be a guideline later. And on the other side, I'm going to make an 8 inch deep pocket. And then I'm going to take my two pressed edges, leave those folded. I'm going to match, folding right sides together here, I'm going to match my two pressed edges. And this is going to be the center that hangs over the bar of the walker. I'm gonna press that line as well. Now, on the right side of the fabric, I can see my pressed line here, and I want to line up my Velcro. So I want to line my Velcro up four inches to either side of that center line. Just going to take my pieces apart. Make sure I'm centered on the fabric. Make sure you're pinning your Velcro only to the top layer of fabric. Don't pin into your pocket. Once you have that pinned in place, go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch that Velcro. To stitch on the edge of the Velcro, I like to move my needle all the way to the edge of my presser foot.
and then repeat the same thing on the other side. Once you have sewn on your Velcro, then you want to lay your fabric right side up and you want to place ties right at the pocket fold lines. So I'm pinning the raw ends of my tubes right at that fold line and I'm keeping the other ends just in the middle. I'm going to repeat the same thing up here. Once that's done, you want to take your lining fabric and you're going to place it right sides together with your outer fabric and add any pins or clips that you think you might need to hold everything together. Once you have it pinned all around the edges, we're going to take it to the sewing machine, sew around all the edges, and on one short end, leave a hole, a gap, that you can fit your hand through to turn this whole thing right side out. Once you've sewn around the edges, go ahead and clip your corners. And by clipping the corner, I just mean cutting very close to the stitching on the corner to remove the bulk of the fabric there. Then go to where you left your gap and turn the whole thing right side out. Make sure you turn your corners all the way out. Alright, at this point you can press around the edges. Make sure that if you're pressing that you really make sure the fabric goes all the way to the edge of that seam instead of rolling in. So I'm going to take this to the ironing board and I'm going to press it. And at the gap here where I turned it, I want to press those raw edges in towards each other so that when I top stitch all of those raw edges get stuck inside. Once you have everything pressed, you need to top stitch the two short ends to make sure that that seam allowances end up inside on the one end and to match and to reinforce on the other end. And just like when I was doing the Velcro, I like to actually move my needle over when I'm top stitching. Final step after top stitching is going to be to create the pockets. So I'm going to fold again on that pressing line that I made at the very beginning. And so here are my 8 inch pockets and on this side I'm just going to divide this into two pockets. So I'm going to find the center here and I'm just going to give myself a couple of little lines here to line up to, making some dots. And you don't actually even have to measure this if you just want to kind of mark it for yourself where you're going to be sewing. It doesn't have to be perfect. On the other end, I'm going to divide this into three pockets. And then I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is top stitch down this edge. And I'm going to backstitch at an angle here just to reinforce this corner. And I'll backstitch at the bottom as well. Then I'm going to move over to my line, center up my needle, 
going to back stitch at a little bit of an angle as well. And then I'll repeat that process of sewing the pockets on the other end. Okay, here is my finished bag. I just need to trim off the threads and then let me show you how to attach this to the walker. I like to put the bigger pockets on the outside and you're just going to lay it over the top bar and attach the Velcro underneath. And then at the bottom, tie those side ties. These bigger front pockets are perfect for a book or a magazine, a tablet maybe. And the back is perfect for things like phones, eyeglasses, pill bottles, etc. And it really just helps people to be able to carry their things when they don't have their hands to use because they're on the bar. I hope you enjoyed that. This is simple, but it is such a meaningful gift that you can give. For more of these types of things, especially some that sew up really quickly, check out this video.